off the next set with a new song that uh, kind of is where I am in my life. So see you later. What? Well, I, I thought you were going to stay home and give the dog a bath. Aziza had her bubble bath, and then I had mine, and I got to thinking. You're right. Oh, well, great. Glad I held your job for you. What job? The waitressing job. That's what we're talking about, right? No, the other thing. Me and Fish. You said we should spend some quality time together. I never said anything about quality time. Anyway, I'm meeting him. Here. For a date. Oliver. Hey, I'll buy you a drink? Um, I thought you were keeping a low profile with the trial coming up and everything. No, no, what trial? I'd, Natalie Buchanan had the charges dropped. I'm a free man. That was fast. What? Well, this is date number two in, what, two days? OK, let's make a deal. You lay off fish, and I'll totally forget about how you dumped my friend for Senorita Green Card. <laughs> OK, look, you don't want me worrying about you, fine. I don't have a problem with that. Just do me a favor. I don't want to show up to the house and find a sock on the doorknob. Mm, actually, it's necktie, but you wouldn't know anything about that because you never wear one, so. <sighs> so what, you're in the clear now? I told you I was innocent. You know, there's a big difference between innocence and having the charges dropped. You know that, right? <sighs> Yeah, it's good old Oliver, always a stickler for details. I would have thought I was guilty, too. Well, it's not like there wasn't enough evidence against you. Yeah, but things aren't always what they seem. But you'd know all about that, wouldn't you, pal? Yeah. That'll be eight bucks plus tip. That's all right, I know you don't. Uh, you know what? It's on the house. Christian, will you do me a favor? Uh, would you go check my mic for me? Sure. Anything for you. Thank you. Layla. I am so sorry about that. There you go. Not your fault. He's just a jerk sometimes. A jerk that likes you a lot. <laughs> right. No, a whole lot. And you know this because, because I know Christian, and I'm a woman, and men act like that when they're jealous. You know, I've actually, I've got a date waiting for me inside. Really? Who is she? My roommates. I, I told you about her when I ran into you the other day, Layla. Layla Williamson. Right, right, the, the beautiful girl. Oh, maybe one day, uh, you know, you could introduce us. I'll see you around, Kyle. Layla, Christian is a painter, not a poet. He has a hard time putting his feelings into words. Well, he does really good when he's yelling at me. Know how you can put an end to that. Stop seeing fish. Come on. You know he doesn't matter to you, right? Hey, oh. sorry. I gotta help that. Oh, don't worry about it. Let's go find our seats. You good to go? Yeah, and how about you? Hmm? What do you mean? I don't want you picking fights with my customers, so the only way that's going to end is if you check your ego at the door and you ask Layla out. So, I've got good news. I dropped your application off with the commissioner. I'm still not sure about that. Oh, come on. You'd be the assistant to the chief of detectives. Could even be interesting. And I could really use the money. Thank you. Well, I'm sure you'd be able to find a way to make it more exciting. <laughs> Probably even end up in the academy. Yeah. In my spikes. <laughs> hey, we could even be partners. Drive my dad a little crazy. Sorry? My, my dad. He's a real conservative type. Really conservative, actually. I, I never even told him Talia and I were partners. He doesn't believe in female police officers? Uh, no, he'd probably come down to the station and try to talk to the commissioner about getting me reassigned. <laughs> Guy's a, a real throwback, like, to the 14th century. <laughs> oh, I can understand that. My mother is really old-fashioned. And... Here you go, boss. I didn't order that. I, I know, but that blonde over there did. Thanks. I got my eye on somebody else. Oh. OK, 
I am your boss. I'm ordering you to fess up. Now what? Come on, why don't you just submit your little sweet on Layla? Look, Blair, Layla's my roommate. Uh -huh. That's all she is. Uh -huh. But she's dating our roommate, uh -huh. and if she blows it with him, I'm gonna end up stuck with another portion of the rent. So, um, that doesn't bother you? What? So sorry. I shouldn't have just dove in like that. I'm really bad at reading signs. No, it's fine. In fact, I was wondering what took you so long. You were. I, I mean, was it okay? It was good. I didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> Neither did I. <laughs> so you kissed her. So what? They're on a date. Things like that happen. Mm -hmm. I've got work to do. So you're just giving me your blessing? They don't need my blessing. So listen, what if Layla were to come up to you right now and say, you know, Christian, this is, he's cute, but you're the one. It's not well, gonna happen. No, just what if she did? It would what? never work out. Why? She's Evangeline's sister, Blair. Evangeline's in a coma, Christian. Look, all Layla and I do is fight. Yeah, and you know what they say about that, don't you? No, but I'm sure you're gonna tell me. Mm -hmm. There's a fine line between love and hate, and that line goes straight through the bedroom. I know better than anyone. Is there somebody in your life that you just can't shake? And what do we do in this fragile world? You're strong. from 